for the running of the Goodyear 400 as it's our second race of the round of eight here in the playoffs. Here are your standings as we head to North Wilkesboro. Right now, Cassie Reynolds, Matt Gomes, Juan Rodriguez, and Owen Miles all sit in the four spots. But the drivers below them could still lock themselves in the championship four with a win here today at North Wilkesboro. And the points are very, very close right now. So it could be closer after this race, and it will then come down to Coca-Cola next weekend to determine who makes it in to the championship four. Here we go, folks, on the pole. will be the 10 of Matthew Buss. On his outside is the 22, Owen Miles, and Cassie Reynolds, and Matt Gomes in row two. Garrett Albertson, Sam and Oscon in row three. And Juan Rodriguez and Allison Rain in row four, the last of the playoff drivers in this field. Cullen Francis is back in the 66 on what could be his last start of the season. And let's take a look at the other part-time driver in this race, Arthur Richard in the 28. And also what could be his last start of the season as well. So there's all the rest of the drivers here competing in this race. And we're about to get the green flag. 40 laps at the legendary North Wilkesboro Speedway. It doesn't get any better than this. We have brought back North Wilkesboro from the dead, and it looks so good. And Cassie Reynolds is not going to get going at the start of this race. Wow. That is a huge, huge shock as we are green. That is unbelievable. Wow. Cassie Reynolds not off to a good start. That is just, that is incredible. 16 man oh, oh my goodness anyway back to the we're green and look at the two car you just saw Garrett Albertson just zoom by into the lead Garrett Albertson just went by and into the lead just like that he just took it away from Matthew Buss lap three approaching as the two is still hanging on to the lead could be some beating banging here in this corner. A three-wide battle. Sam at Oscon and Matt Gomes. Oh my, oh boy. This could be a very tight battle here. Forsty Moore is trying to sneak in. And they're bumping and banging. They nearly spun. Oh, what a close call there. A lot of close calls in this track, and Reynolds is back out on the track. 16 cars back out, two laps down, and a rather unfortunate start for the number 16 team. Oh, man, they did not expect their car to not get going at the start. Now they're going to have a... Now they're going to... They're, they're now in last place. So, not good for the number 16. It is not looking good. Oh, Loose. Oh, boy. Boy, this is going to be close. Albertson versus Matthew Buss. Trying to get in the championship four. One of these four could be in the championship four. We'll see who can. Who will it be. All still trying to race back into the back here to try to win and get in the get into the championship four. There's Unleasher Quillies getting by the 66 of Cullen Francis. Lap number nine, and still no caution. Oh, Nile O'Hare nearly turned around. 
Close call there. Nile O'Hare saves it. Oh, man. Still trying to hang on. They're three wide in the middle pack. Right down the middle. They are three wide. Oh, man. This could get... This could be ugly. This could end ugly. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. Near spin there. Able to continue the race. Oh, wow. I thought this was going to end in a really, really tight spot. But not yet. Oh, boy. Three. Near three wide in the middle pack. Mmm, boy. I'm not sure if the leaders are going to catch Cassie Reynolds. They're running at the same speed as each other, so it's really not likely that they'll catch him. Oh, but Garrett Albertson, he won at the Roval earlier this season. He didn't have a win when he entered the cha when he entered the playoffs. Now he's trying to get his second one of the season here today at North Wilkesboro, and it could be a very important one to get him into the championship four. Sorry, I had to step out for a bit there, but the two cars still in front right now at North Wilkesboro, and surprisingly, no caution so far. We've had some close calls, but we have yet to see a yellow flag here today. That's very impressive. We've seen yellow flags all the time in North Wilkesboro, but today, strangely, we haven't seen a single one yet. Here comes Francis, and here comes David Aline. Colin Francis could be his last race of the season in a part-time role. He's looking for a full-time opportunity again next season. Trying to get back into full-time racing next season in the PLCS. The two-car has been dominant. He's led most of the laps today, but will that change here at North Wilkesboro? Here's the two car, two, no, the 10 car, I'm sorry. 10 is trying to go on the bottom. He's trying to get by him. Right on the bumper of the number two. Still trying to make a move. He's trying to find a lane. He's trying to find a way to get through. Just can't find it yet right now. He just can't get there. He just can't seem to make a move here at this point. Caution's out. First time today. How about that on lap 18? We get our first caution of the race. Wow, that took a while, but we did get a first caution. It looks like Billy Bishop brought out the yellow. Gets hit by Claire Richardson from behind. And that's what brought the caution out. So now, they're going to pit under caution. They should be good to go on fuel, maybe. Maybe just a lap short. We don't know yet, though. But under caution light speed, it looks like they're going to make it. So this could decide who wins this race, and looks like the two is out first off pit road. Albertson will retain the lead. Got a lap car in the form of the 16, Cassie Reynolds in front, so it's going to be a challenge for the two to get by the 16 as we're back to green. Oh, I just see a car, a couple cars getting loose. Could be a chance for the number 10 to take the lead. Down the bottom. Can't quite make the move. Here comes the 50, the 15 of Unleash Your Quillies. Trying to get third away, and he gets third away. How about Unleash Your Quillies in third spot? Trying to win again in the 15 car. See if he can do it again. He will see if he can get the job done. Oh, Allison Ray nearly loose. Fifteen and third, Colin Francis fourth, and second place is now the ten car. He's going on the bottom for the lead. Here we go, ten car trying to lead, and the two puts a block. Two car puts a block. The two is blocked the ten. That ten car is trying to win and get in the championship four. 
Same for Garrett Albertson trying to hang on. Fourteen to go. Somehow, some way, the two has been able to block the ten car. That ten car has not been able to find a way to get through. 12 laps to go here at North Wilkesboro, a dozen more. We'll see if the two can hold on for the win. Will it be a win for the number two? The caution is out with 11 to go. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. Claire, uh, not Claire Richardson, I believe someone else spun. Looks like the 34 went around, it was Quentin Moore. Gets into contact with Giovanni Castillo and they go around, big crash behind them. That's what brought the caution out for the second time tonight. And now, it's gonna come down the final couple laps and this time the 16 will not be in the way. This is gonna come down to the final laps here at North Wilkesboro. We are back to the green with six laps to go. Might be the boost he needs, Matt. And here comes Matthew Buss. Can he make it? Down the bottom, he's got him. Right now, he's got him. Can he hold him off as the caution's out with five to go? And Matthew Buss leads. And a big crash behind. Oh, man. The question is, will they get back to the green in regulation? Will they have one more lap or will it come down to overtime? It might have to come down to overtime because they might have to do some extra cleanup for this wreck. Casey Hoyt and Quinn Porter around. Oh, my goodness. And a big pile up also there as well. Trying to get also trying to clean that up. And a big spin happened in the 34, Quentin Moore. I mean, his day goes from bad to worse. Hit by Matt Gomes. Matt Gomes was trying to get him out of the way. Trying to get those points. Man, and Matthew Buss, did he, was he the leader? Or, yeah, he is the leader. He just scored the lead. Oh, he waited for the right time to make his move, and I think he might have done it. And guess what? We are not going to finish this in regulation. This will be down to overtime at North Wilkesboro. So we're going to have an overtime finish at North Wilkesboro Speedway. So stay tuned. We'll see if Matthew Buss can hang on and get himself in the championship four. Here we go, folks. Two laps of overtime here to decide who makes it to the championship four. And the green flag waves here at North Wilkesboro. Who will get the better jump? Will it be Albertson or will it be Matthew Buss? White flag, it looks like Matthew Buss has got the better run. White flag in the air with one lap to go. Is Matthew Buss gonna be in the championship? Boy, he's got a big lead ahead. In the final turn. He made the right move at the right time on Albertson. And here he comes. Matthew Buss is going to win at North Wilkesboro, and he's the first driver in the championship four in the PLCS. Matthew Buss is the first driver in the championship four. The number 10 team does it again, and Matthew Buss will be in the championship four. And Colin Francis with a runner-up finish in a part-time ride. How about that? But it was Matthew Buss getting the win to get himself in the championship four here at North Wilkesboro. Wow, came down to the wire, folks. I mean, Matthew Buss. I mean, Matthew Buss needed a pass on the final restart before overtime over the two of Garrett Albertson to get the win, and it looked like Albertson was going to dominate and win 
and move on to the championship four. But Matthew Buss, he got other he got other plans, and he took that win away from the number two, and he gets the spot into the championship four. So now let's see the championship four championship four standings right now. Matthew Buss has the win, and he is in, of course. And now look at Garrett Albertson. He is one point below the cutoff. Yeah, just one point below the cutoff. What a difference that a race makes. Oh, boy. And Matt Gomes right now in a good spot with Juan Rodriguez. He's 12, they're 12 points above the cutoff. Cassie Reynolds, though, has the final spot. It's going to come down to Coca-Cola to decide who makes it to the championship four. Allison Reigns three points back. Miles is four points back. And Oscon is 17 points back. Oh, it, yep, it will come down to the wire, to the final race at Coca-Cola Super Speedway to determine who gets into the championship four with Matthew Buss. So until next time, we will see you guys later.